Joe, a shooting suspect has died after crashing into a fire hydrant during a pursuit. That man crashed on San Fernando. Four people are in custody in connection with the murder of a mentally disabled teenager, 19-year-old. The LAPD confirms they've raised enough money to buy a young boy leg braces after his were stolen in South L.A. Well, that's good news. Yeah, it really is. It is 6.06 .06 and just ahead, carpet. Long after the fighting stops, war continues to take a deadly toll. It's estimated that nationwide, 23 American vets commit suicide every day. The U.S. ambassador to respond to WikiLeaks documents that show the NSA eavesdropped on the last three French presidents. French President Hollande called U.S. spying an unacceptable security breach. Experts are saying Western allies have long spied on each other as well as shared intelligence. Wahlberg brought a few good vibrations to a recent New Kids on the Block concert at Madison Square Garden. China, the body of State Senator and Reverend Clementa Pinckney will lie in state at the Capitol Rotunda today. He was one of nine victims killed at a historic black church last week. Yesterday. Good morning, I'm Sharon Tang. I'm Rick Garcia. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. We begin with... Thank you. Major changes for the LAUSD this morning. Superintendent Ramon Cortinez says he will be leaving his job in six months and teachers can now look forward to a raise. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in downtown L.A. with details. Cara? Now, the family of an Inglewood man found decapitated is looking for answers. Robert Hollis was killed one week ago. CBS 2's Dave Lopez has his heartbroken family's plea for help. Today, a federal judge will formally sentence Boston Marathon bomber Johar Sarnayev to death. Sarnayev spoke in court just moments ago. He apologized to the victims and survivors and asked for forgiveness. Dr. Gary Sinise is honoring a group of California World War II veterans today by taking them on a trip. For watching CBS 2 News at 11 a.m., remember we're always on at cbsla.com. Be sure to check.